Do you want to know how you can reverse your thyroid disease by lowering your thyroid antibodies? Yes, today I am going to share with you a few things that will help you to reverse and lower your antibody levels. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta. I help people reverse their thyroid disease by making functional medicine plans. So let's understand what is going on in people who have a thyroid disorder. So in thyroid disorder, what happens is that your body starts producing antibodies. Now these antibodies start a very slow destruction of your thyroid gland. This slow destruction of the thyroid gland slowly, slowly makes your thyroid incapable of producing thyroid hormone. And once finally, substantial damage of your thyroid gland has happened, then your thyroid is not able to cope up with the demand of the thyroid hormone that your body needs. And that's where the symptoms of thyroid disorder starts happening, like fatigue, like brain fog, like weight issues, like feeling cold, hair fall, hair thinning, gut problems. All of these symptoms are because your thyroid antibodies are destroying your thyroid gland and your thyroid is not able to cope up with it. Now, most people, when they have this problem of these symptoms, they go to the doctor, the doctor says your thyroid levels are low and the medicine that is being prescribed for it is called levothyroxine and that is actually a thyroid hormone. Now, what most people do not know is that this levothyroxine is not doing anything to lowering the antibodies of your thyroid gland. And this levothyroxine is not doing anything to safeguard your thyroid gland from being destroyed by these antibodies. And that is the reason over the course of several years, your levothyroxine dosage is going to continuously be going to be increased more and more because your thyroid is going to be destroyed more and more. But you have an opportunity now to reverse your thyroid disease by doing things to lower these antibodies and safeguard your thyroid gland. So the very first thing that research has shown that is helpful to lowering the thyroid antibodies is an anti-inflammatory diet. Diet and food plays an important role to safeguard your thyroid gland. So in the anti-inflammatory diet, first you need to remove foods which are causing destruction of your thyroid gland. And these foods are gluten, dairy, fried food, fast food. All of these foods are destroying your thyroid gland. So they first needs to be removed from the diet. Then you need to introduce food which helps reduce inflammation and safeguard your thyroid gland. These foods are good fats like avocados, like nuts and seeds, like coconut oil or coconut. These are all good fats that your body needs. A lot of good green leafy and all the other vegetables because these vegetables support your thyroid gland and again have shown to reduce the antibody levels. Eat gluten-free whole grains like quinoa, brown rice. Again, they are going to help you reduce your antibody levels. Eat anti-inflammatory fruits like blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. These are again good for your thyroid gland and research has shown that they are going to reduce your antibody levels. So eat an anti-inflammatory diet and that is going to help you with your thyroid gland. I have made a previous video about this anti-inflammatory diet. So if you want to know, you will see the link in the description. The second thing you can do to lower the antibody levels is by taking a supplement called selenium. Research has shown that people who were given selenium supplement in a dosage between 100 micrograms to 200 micrograms saw substantial lowering of the thyroid antibodies. Yes, so this is one of the wonder supplements for all the thyroid patients. So they should be taking that because it is going to lower their antibody levels and going to safeguard their thyroid gland. The third thing you can do to lower your antibody levels is by taking another supplement called omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 fatty acids like EPA and DHA are very potent anti-inflammatory. And they have shown again in research that they reduce inflammation in your body. They reduce inflammation in your thyroid gland. And slowly and slowly, they also help in the reduction of the thyroid antibodies. And thus, it safeguards your thyroid gland from being destroyed. So again, another wonderful supplement that you can take on the daily basis, omega-3 fatty acids. 
Now, several people try to take, you know, uh, black seed oil or krill oil for the omega-3s. They are very, very low in these omega-3s. So fish oil is the best source of these omega-3 supplements. So either you eat a lot of good quality fish, which is low in mercury, or either you take a fish oil supplement that is going to help you get enough omega-3s to lower the antibody levels for your thyroid gland. The fourth thing you can do is take another supplement called zinc. Now, zinc again has shown to be beneficial for patients with thyroid disorders. Zinc is an important mineral which is needed for proper thyroid hormone production. And research again shows that when zinc is combined with selenium, both taken together has shown to again reduce the antibody levels in the thyroid gland. So again, a wonderful supplement that you can take on the regular basis has a lot of different benefits to it. Along with thyroid, it also helps with immunity and other things. So again, if you do have your antibody levels which are high and if you want to safeguard your thyroid gland, zinc is the other supplement that you should take on the regular basis. The last supplement that can be helpful for you to safeguard your thyroid gland is curcumin. Yes, curcumin is an important supplement which is derived from an Indian spice called turmeric. And curcumin can be wonderful because it is very potent anti-inflammatory. It reduces inflammation in the system of your body and also helps to safeguard your thyroid gland. So this again can help you to lower your antibody levels. And again, that is another supplement that you should take on the regular basis to help reduce the antibodies in your thyroid gland. And that is shown to safeguard your thyroid gland. So you see, it is first very important to understand that your thyroid gland is being destroyed by the thyroid antibodies. And unless you are going to reduce these antibody levels, your thyroid is not going to get better. And levothyroxine or any thyroid medicine is not doing anything to lower in these antibodies. So it is very important to follow the steps or things that I have shared with you to help you to reduce the antibody levels and safeguard your thyroid gland. I hope you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.